Hey guys, this is Rai, welcome to Heroes of the Storm, and today I will be doing just a short, uh, well not short, you know, match, how-to, uh, video for Sergeant Hammer. Uh, mainly focusing on positioning, uh, because that is the biggest part about playing as Sergeant Hammer, is your positioning. Well, uh, where do you want to position yourself to make sure you're in a safe spot to be able to just annihilate the enemy team? Well, look at our team comp here, we have an Abathur, Thrall, Myself on Sergeant Hammer, Lenara, and Zeratul. Enemy team Zagara, Zeratul, Li Ming, Lost Vikings, and Greymane. So, neither team has very any front line. Uh, I'd say we're a little bit better off at least because we do have the Thrall. At level 1, we will be going for... Region Master. We are going for Region Master because we do have no support. Uh, they have some decent burst. This is a pretty good poke, and this is just going to help us. God damn it. Fucking Lee Mings. Our region globe. Oh god, they're fucking... Well, they are two top with a Viking. And that is going to hurt very, very badly. Uh, we need some help up here. We, we do need some help up here. Uh, sadly, because of team comp, we're not going to get a lot of help up here. So we are just going to stay close, soak this XP, and otherwise there's not going to be a whole lot we can do. Li Ming's going to go ahead and start just poking away at our towers here. That was a very well done work by Zeratul there. He was almost able to get a kill on the Li Ming. Enemy team Zeratul getting very close. He is probably going to try and pop back in and kill me, and I want none of that. We are going to hearth back so we can pop off our health, top off our health before we go in to these shrines. Now, this is what I'm talking about for defensible positions for Sergeant Hammer. I want to get there, get there early, so I can post up and get into a nice defensible spot, which should work out very well because the enemy team's Greymane and Zagara haven't started moving yet. We're going to move in. We're going to move close to this far shrine. I was just kidding. We did get our shrine. Uh, they have not gotten theirs yet, but they are probably about to get it because the Vikings can grab these shrines. That is going to help the enemy team a lot getting these objectives because they can have their entire the entirety of their team defending while a viking gets the shrine. At level 4 we are going to go for vampiric assault because that is going to help with our sustain even more because when we hit we heal. Big thing about region globes on sergeant hammer is you want to make sure you are not forgetting to grab your region globes you know when, when you're posted up. We are going to keep just poking this top lane against this viking we did succeed in getting a kill on the enemy team's gray main. And we're just going to keep poking at this cigar. She's not going to be able to do a whole lot to us. Because we are a Sergeant Hammer with defensive talents. I say that and then she almost gets a kill. That was scary. But things like our region master there is helping keep us alive. We'd successfully got a kill on the enemy team's Eric, but we have no one top lane generating that XP, and we did lose our thrall. We're just going to move Epic back up. Metal. It happens. It happens. <laughs> they have a gray main, Li Ming. It's bursty as fuck. We do have the Vikings up here just continuing to generate XP for this enemy team. Excuse me, Zagara. Just dropped my mind, so she has something to deal with up there. Looks like Zeratul is going up to try and get a kill on the enemy Zagara. And he's going to get it. We are going to move in here at level 7. We are going to grab first aid. That is going to be huge for our sustain here. Now you notice defensive talents. Everything is defensive talents. I meant to get into the grass. Fuck you. I'm not here. You don't see me. 
But that is what I'm talking about, about placing yourself into a defensible position. We were able to successfully get a kill on the enemy. Oh, God. Li Ming's burst is fucking insane. I was at half health and died, but it happens. Uh, they are going to get another shrine, um, but it's okay. That is only one shrine ahead for the enemy team. We are staying pretty close in XP, not doing too bad considering they do have Vikings. And while we have an Abathur, the Vikings are able to soak all three lanes while we're at these shrines. While Abathur can only get one, and in the meantime, he will be able to get more shrines late game or more lanes late game. So we're just going to go down, continue to soak, and try and play better. Uh, but you notice uh, it's Sergeant Hammer is all about that positioning. So we're just trying to position ourselves as good as we can to defend against these points. And it will get better late game as we get moves like graduating range. And then you know, we'll start to hit faster and things like that. We may be losing our Zeratul here. We are not losing our Zeratul here. He played extremely well there. Go away. Go away. This is my house. Fuck you. Fuck you, enemy Zeratul. So we're just going to post back up and continue pressing this lane. Grab my regen globe. At level 10, we will go for Napalm Strike. That is going to help out a lot on these team fights. I'm going to post myself up right here, right next to this shrine. And it looks like no one else came here, so we're just going to grab it real quick. We did lose our Thrall up at the top shrine. We, were, we did successfully grab this bottom shrine, but we lost the entirety of the friendly team at that top shrine. I want none of that. Oh, they do have level 10 before us. Or no, they don't. We already have level 10. I'm dumb. <laughs> so we're going to sit here and try and defend here. I completely understand Zeratul. All those Vikings are going to make it extremely hard to defend. Thank you, Thrall, for eating that. Grab my region globe. Looks like Li Ming is trying to kill us off. Can't have that. So we're just going to come in here, get kills on these Vikings. We've got a Li Ming that's just hanging out back here. We are going to have to run away because we are nearly dead. But you notice, you see how fast our health is going up? That's that regen master. And with myself, Thrall, Lenara, all of that here, we are going to be able to counter this Zagara's creep really well. Looks like we've got an almost dead Greymane down here. And we are actually starting to pull ahead in XP. We've got another Shrine bottom. So we're going to come in here, grab my regen globe, and then just set up in a very nice, defensible position. Try and defend. We are going to grab first strike here because they are not attacking me as much. They are focusing on our front line. Uh, where I'm at right now may be a really bad spot. Zagar is getting really aggressive here. We did successfully get the shrine down on the bottom lane. 
Zagar, don't play with me. I, I will end you. And then we are going to just go... Run, run, Zeratul, Zeratul. R run into the stasis, run into the stasis. And we should just be able to continue to push this lane. Hello? I hit the wrong button! Well, that's what happens when you misclick your E on Sergeant Hammer. Uh, you post up and then you die. We did successfully get a kill on Olaf. Well done. Uh, we do have our Zeratul down here trying to get a kill on the enemy Zeratul. He will succeed. And then he may just be able to run away. But it looks like he's going to try and get greedy instead of running. I don't know why. We are staying fairly even on XP. And you'll notice, for that for that bottom shrine, setting up in this grass right here, because I was able to get there early, we were able to set up a nice defensible spot, which is huge for Sergeant Hammer. And then just completely melt the enemy team. Looks like our Abby is running away, which is definitely for the best. So we're just going to sit here, set up, and keep the enemy team from being able to grab this sh this building, rather. Going to grab myself another regen globe. Kill that creep. And then we're going to post up and try and just completely end this enemy team. We did successfully get kills on the Vikings. And maybe Zeratul and the enemy Zeratul. Running away. Excuse me. Terrible decision. Looks like I'm going to have to go for this altar over here. I might be able to get there in time. Maybe, 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 maybe. Did not get it. But our thrall is up and he will be able to go defend against that shrine at level 16 we will be grabbing graduating range that's going to be huge for these setting up next to these shrines getting that nice defensible spot and being able to just completely again just annihilate this enemy team we got a kill on the enemy Zagara and Balog may be able to get a kill on the enemy Zeratul Looks like no, but if Greymane wants to be greedy, we can end him. For some reason, they're trying to trade with a Thrall. I don't know why. We might be able to get a kill on Zeratul here. We did. Let's see if we can end the Vikings. And we're just going to post, with most of the enemy team dead, we're just going to post up right here. And get rid of this tower. You notice our Thrall is back here just defending us. Or got your bet. Damn straight. We were able to kill both of the Vikings that were here and grab this fort. Back up. Well, no, I got this. Also got the final Viking. Did not successfully get a kill on Zagara. Backing. But you'll notice how, with that graduating range, they were not able to get close to me at all. So we're going to move down here. We also have the bottom building, and that is going to force the enemy team to defend, try and take these buildings. So we're going to move down here, and we're going to move into this grass right next to this middle shrine and post up. We're get, making sure we get there early. So my graduating range can get to its full range before the enemy team ever gets here. We do have a Viking down here. Yeah, just gra 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 grab the shrine. Grab the shrine. Grab, grab the shrine. He can't. He can't get close. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
We almost have the enemy team Lee Ming dead. Let's see if she's dumb enough to step back close again. Zeratul just saved my life. Thank you, Zeratul. That was a beautiful, beautiful Void Prism. We were able to get that shrine with that beautiful defensive positioning. It did not. It enabled the friendly team to grab that shrine without the enemy team being able to get anywhere close. So we're just going to come up here, post up. You notice I'm a little bit outside of tower range, but that's okay. Because with my graduating range, I am going to be able to take this building without any issues. At level 20, and we hit level 20 a whole level before the enemy team, I am going to grab Nexus Frenzy. That's going to incre increase my attack speed and range, which, as you can imagine, is huge on Sergeant Hammer. Looks like our Saratul grabbed the wrong talent. It's okay, buddy. I've made that mistake more times than I can count. Just going to be able to post up here, grab this building. We're going to move up top, do the exact same thing to the top building. We did get a kill on the enemy, Eric. And moving around, grabbing these buildings is just giving us a complete shit ton of just ability to keep that enemy team guessing. We did lose our Zero tool. I don't know what happened down there. Maybe he got a little greedy. I'm not sure. But it's okay. We're going to grab this top building. No issues. And then we're going to move back down here. Go defend this. No. No. We're going to move down and... Yeah. Fuck it. No. No. We're going to come. We're going to go up here can't decide what I want to do and post up right here right in this beautiful defensible positioning gonna place my mind right here to make sure the enemy can't get close down there and goodbye Li Ming with this it should be game if we can get these shrines before the Vikings are able to get our building if we can grab all three of these shrines. You'll notice, enemy team can't get close. All of this area, that is my house. They aren't able to do shit. We did successfully get all of these shrines. And with that, it is GG. That is how you play Sergeant Hammer, trying to take advantage of those defensible spots. You know, I made a few mistakes here and there. It gets a little weird without a tank who can peel for you and block for you, but I'd say we did. We had, uh, I wouldn't even say we had a better comp than the enemy team. Our team just played better. We took advantage of our positioning and were able to secure those kills. If you look at our stats, we did not actually top hero damage. Zeratul did, but he was playing very aggressive and extremely well. Our Abby, as usual, top siege damage, you know, he gets that split push. We were decently close-ish with our 99,000. I'll go back over my talents. At level 1, I went for Regen Master. Again, survivability. I want to stay alive. Level 4, Vampiric Assault, more survivability. 7, First Aid, again, more survivability. Then the level 10, Napalm Strike, that's going to help us out a lot in these team fights, especially on a map like Cursed Hollow, where grabbing the buildings doesn't matter as much. It's more about getting the shrines, and, you know, when we were taking those buildings at the end, it kept the enemy team moving, and having those five, um, those five buildings at the end did allow us to end the game a little sooner. At 13, I did grab first strike because the enemy team was not focusing me down first, so I was able to hit them even harder. At 16, graduating range, more about that getting into your defensible position early, and setting up, letting my range get to its its max distance so the enemy team couldn't even get close. And then at level 20, Nexus Frenzy, so I could have even more attack speed and range and just completely melt the enemy team. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, do please like, favorite, subscribe. It helps me out and makes me happy. And I will see you all again shortly. Thank you. Bye-bye.